Yeah, timer is a fun component that you can use when you're writing a small game or something. Uh, it basically keeps track of time for you in the background. So timer is not a visible component during run time. So when you are designing your GUI, you will, you will be able to see the timer. But as soon as you run the program, you will not be able to see it. Okay, the program I'm writing or already did right here is... When I click on the button, I'm going to enable my timer and it's going to count from 1 to 5. And I'm going to display that in the label. And when it reaches um, 5, yeah, I'm going to change the label to the caption boom. And then I'm going to stop the timer from running. Okay, so when I run my program, the timer is currently disabled. Okay. Because I selected my timer and I said enabled false. So when I run it, it will be false. It will not be enabled. So when I click on the button, I'm enabling the timer. So now it's counting for me. One, two, three, four, five. When it reaches five, it goes boom. And my timer will stop. So let's quickly test the output of what will happen if I don't stop this timer when it reaches the I count of 5 and now it's enabled, it's running go 3, 4, 5, boom and then it goes on 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay, so you must stop your timer over there if I forgot to enable it over here it's simply not going to start Okay, so it's never enabled um, I initialize the value of I count to zero so that I make sure that when my timer goes off that I count will start with zero. So basically the first time the counter goes off it's going to say zero plus one is equals to one. Second time it will say one plus one equals two. Okay, then every time it will also check whether I count is actually equals to five. And this line over here is just to display the current value of I count in my label. Something else that you can do is you can maybe increase the interval. Make it a little bit smaller. Boom. Or you can make it bigger so it is, it is slower. Then you might have to wait a while. Now it's very slow. Eventually it will go over to 1. Okay. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. smaller. It's still too slow. Let's remove another 0. I think that was actually the default value. 